Hi, I'm Dr. Barry Sunshine, and on this video, I'm going to teach you how to collect environmental samples. The reason we do this is to find out if you have what I call energetic hypersensitivities, which will be affecting your nervous system. This will show up as what we consider allergies in some cases or sensitivities to things. Where you're going to collect them is in your home where you work, where you go to school, your relative's house, where your friends are, where you are is where you're going to collect it. And basically you need three things. It's very simple. You need some scotch tape, some Ziploc bags, and some large mouth jars. And what you're going to do is, let's take your home for instance, you're going to take a piece of scotch tape and put it on your pillow and sticky side down, then fold it in half, and put it in one of the bags, mark it inside home. You'll be doing the inside of the house, and you're going to be doing the outside of the house. So you're going to mark the bags accordingly. And if you're going to go to work or if you're going to uh, be at one of your relatives' house, just mark it so you know where it came from. Now, on the inside of the house, the, the first place is the pillow. Other areas of the house are maybe your uh, bathrooms, your shower, your downstairs in your basement. Uh, anywhere where you think there's dust or, or collection of samples that might be helpful. Another good thing is your vacuum cleaner bag. And then when you go on the outside, you're going to take another bag. You're going to put these samples in the other bag. You're going to take scotch tape, and you're going to do it on maybe your porch, your furniture outside, your car, outside of your car, on your dashboard, the deck of your lawnmower, just samples. And the outside samples are going to be taken every two weeks in the spring and fall because that's when there are more allergies or um, allergens present uh, in the environment. Then the other thing that you might do if you feel that there is something that is gaseous, you take a large mouth jar, you open it in the room or area where you think there's a problem. We and leave it there for a day, two days, and then seal it up and bring it in. We use this with a lot of teachers do this because they feel like something in their classroom is bothering them and they'll bring in samples and we'll be able to check them. The other thing is your pets. Your pets will have um, possible either the fur or the dander which is the skin. Take a piece of scotch tape, cut a little of their fur off um, and also attach it to their skin and then pull it off. If you are th think that you're food sensitive what you need to do is bring the samples of the food that you think you might have a problem with. Foods have many additives, so it's impossible really with uh, just testing not to, to be able to know what, what is going on. So foods bring in what you think you possibly are allergic to. The better detective you are, the better chance we have of finding what your energetic hypersensitivity is. So the best, do the best job you can, and you never know exactly where you'll find it. And we'll be looking forward to seeing you, and I hope this helps you.